How would you describe Buried for someone who hasn't seen the film? <laughs> Buried is, above all, a physical experience. Um, this is not a film to be seen, but a film to be experienced. So you don't see it with your eyes, but with your bones, your muscles, with your skin, with your blood. So if you want to leave the theater four pounds lighter, Buried is your film. Um, Ryan Reynolds is, is the only character on screen for the film. Um, yeah. How did you make sure that the audience wasn't going to be bored for a sort of 90 minute movie just with one character? Because they know, no, sorry, because they want to know what's going to happen with him. They need to know. This film is based on the hunger of knowing. So every time you think you know where you are, ground breaks under your feet and you have to re-evaluate the situation again. So you feel so much empathy about this guy that you need to know what's going to happen. At the beginning of the film, we have a guy that we don't know who he is. He's nobody in the middle of a black hole. At the end of the film, we brought an entire universe inside the box. And you know everything about it. That's why people cannot stop watching him. Were there arguments with the producers about having just this one character and having no cutaways and, and nothing outside of the box? Well, there were no arguments. Actually, uh, they really supported me. but. I can tell you that uh, when you try to do something like this, from the very first moment you receive every kind of kind suggestions in order to shoot the other side of the line, to show the surface, to show the other characters. But in my opinion, that was the perfect way of ruining everything. I always saw this film as something big, and not in spite of its elements, but because of them. Uh, if you shoot the surface, in a best case scenario, you're going to have a good TV episode. So it, it, there's a paradox there, because you would make it smaller doing it that way. Um, Paul's in Iraq, or under Iraq, and he's, um, <coughs> he's a contractor. Um, was that at all um, important or significant, or was that really just a way to set up the situation? Well, it's important in human terms in the sense that it helps describe the character, but if you use Hitchcockian terms, Iraq would be the MacGuffin. I mean, this is the background to develop your story. And of course, you try to take it seriously in the sense that you try to be uh, truthful in human terms. And, but you don't try to describe your positions about the conflict. You don't try to filter them. But to be very truthful with his position about the conflict from his point of view. There's something that goes beyond politics and beyond ideology that, in my opinion, is much more important. Uh, small premise stories used to have a very powerful metaphoric level. So in this case, you find out that the real Paul Conroy's enemy is not darkness, not even lack of oxygen, not even the sand, but probably bureaucracy. It's like a human mediocrity, and you cannot fight it. One of the reasons why people feel so committed with uh, Ryan Reynolds' character, it's not because they remember the day they were buried alive themselves, hopefully, but because they try to change their cell phone company and they spend 20 minutes pressing one and pressing two, obeying a robot. And when you at last are able to talk to a human being, you find out that you are his problem and his only goal in life is becoming use anybody else's problem. In, uh, in some of those moments with the bureaucracy, um, there, there's actually quite a lot of humour, I thought, when I was watching the film. Um, how important was it for you to, to get those sorts of moments in a film which is obviously quite dark? Ke uh, yeah. Keeping that humour is very important because you cannot keep the rope tight always. It has to be more like a roller coaster. So you have to find a perfect balance with peaks and valleys. It's about rhythm, it's about pace. Actually, in a very dark and perverted way, I always saw this film as a comedy, somehow. Of course, it is not, but I work on the rhythm in the same way, because you have the same elements. I mean that in a comedy, many times, you enjoy mistreating your character, and you have to enjoy it. And every time that you think that nothing worse is going to happen, it happens, which is what happens here. So you need the same control of nuance and the same control of pace. That's why Ryan Reynolds is a gift, because he's a Stradivarius. He can do whatever. He's a perfect comedian, and therefore he can do whatever.